This is the citric acid and baking soda CO2 generator for aquariums. Just do it yourself. Pressure gauge on this side. This goes into the citric acid solution. And then the valve to actually control the output is on this side, which goes into the baking soda. Uh, these are two and a half liter soda bottles, which you can pick up at Dollar Tree. Some of the Dollar Trees also have 2.75 liter soda bottles. That lets me work with more than the uh, standard 200 grams, I suggest. I have one and a half cups of citric acid in the left bottle. This is one and a half cups of baking soda that's going to go in the right bottle, and hopefully it will make a massive mess since I do not have a funnel. And mix it with the baking soda. And for the citric acid, you use a three to one ratio. So I'm going to add four and a half cups of water to shake them up. Pressure goes into the citric acid. The valve goes into the baking soda mixture. Make sure the nozzle is fully closed and squeeze. I'm still in the yellow for pressure. Swirl it around a little. Open. See in the green, we're nearing two. Tubing. And there we go. Way too many bubbles per minute right now. I'm going to turn this significantly down, otherwise it'll just burn right through all of that. And that's all there is to it. 
it's working very well so far. Huh? This is the baking soda side. This is the citric acid side. When pressure lowers, it automatically sucks citric acid out of here into the baking soda side, thus generating more CO2 that can be controlled with this going to there. Built-in bubble counter, if I turn it up, just turn it back down to about two per minute. Two per second, that is. 